Youngstown Phantoms post-game interviews are presented by the YMCA. All right, Brett, first things first, have you heard anything on Cole Birch? I haven't, but uh, I know I know he's in good hands. Um, not only Chris Hipson with, with Cedar Rapids and Joe and, and the doctors that were on staff here tonight, paramedics, like, uh, you know, you never like to see anything like that, especially with somebody that's, that's so close to both franchises. But, uh, you know, it's, it's refreshing and comforting to know who he's with, and, you know, I'm sure we'll, we'll get some updates here shortly. Uh, but our thoughts are with him for sure. Uh, you know, 11 years here at the Cavelli Center, I, I can't think of another time we've had a player taken off on a stretcher. How do you get the team refocused, not only after the delay, but, you know, somebody that they skated with, you know, just earlier, a couple of weeks ago, you know, taking off the ice on a stretcher? Yeah, I don't, I mean, we can say what we, what you try to do, but at the end of the day, you know, we feel it as much as the players. Um, so you, you never like to see that, and it's... It's those instances you don't have. You, you hope they don't happen again in your career. Um, you know, knock on wood, they, you know everything's gonna be fine and, and all that. But it's those are the situations you can't really prepare for. It's, it's about trying to mentally reset and um, you know push forward. Last night after the game, you spoke of disappointment with the effort. What, what uh, is your reaction after tonight? Well, I was extremely disappointed last night and uh, you know that consistency and. You know, this morning when we showed up, we didn't have a regular pregame skate. It was we challenged them a little bit, and, and the compete boots were on this morning, no doubt. Uh, and I think that carried over into tonight. And that's it's got to be a learning lesson, but you know that's the mentality that you need to win at this league and the next league and the next league after that. And when you don't show up, you know, and have those work boots on from the minute the puck drops, off it's, it's going to be a, a night where you're not going to be real happy with the performance. A couple of rough outings back to back for Kyle Chauvet. What did you think of your netminder's performance in a bounce back game here tonight? I thought he was great. Uh, you know, I, I actually did. I know we talked about the goal beforehand. I, I don't know how that the one down at the far end went, so I can't really task on that. But uh, you know, he's a guy that just he loses confidence whether you know he's coming off of a, an outing maybe where he let one in that he didn't like. Um, but he's got this consistency factor to him, and, and that's the part that you know guys are always looking to. And Shabby, credit to him because he's the workhorse. You know, he takes everything in practice, and uh, exactly, very proud of him. Today. Couple of goals, uh, special teams for you, for you tonight. Jane Grant on the power play, Kyle Benton's uh, shorthanded. What do you think your special teams effort tonight? Yeah, I, you know the the PPs had some good looks. Um, in a lot of the last games we've had, and then uh, on the on the kill side, I, I liked you know a lot of what we did. Obviously, the Mark credit to him makes an adjustment going into the third period tonight. And, uh, you know they, they score the goal on the on the hit there, um, so I didn't like the entrance, but you know we had we had to change some things around. At the end of the day, it's about your your desire to get in front of pucks, which you see in the last couple of minutes there when it's six on five and. Uh, willingness to do that and, and guys do it consistently, you're, you're going to be a good spot. So the last few weeks haven't gone the way we've, anybody's wanted it to. A lot different story tonight. Coming out of the game tonight, what do we feel most encouraged about as far as this team? Yeah, I think exactly what we said. You know, there, there was a, a significant challenge, I'll leave it at that, that, that was presented this morning to, to the team in general. And, you know, it wasn't, they, they already went to work. You know, they went to work twice today and and the guys were upbeat. And sometimes it takes that, you know, that challenge or that adversity or whatever to, to shine through and see your best. And we had some guys who were very vocal without without a staff being in the room. You know, I think it's important that the leadership board, you know, takes that team and takes it. And there, there's definitely guys in there that have. And there were some guys that stepped up last night in that fashion that, um, you know, were maybe a little bit more vocal about, you know, not only their play but everybody's play. And, and I think hearing it from a peer sometimes is a good thing. Um, and then the bounce back effort, you know, exactly what we wanted the first four or five minutes was, you know, to, we wanted to outwork. Yeah. I think we did that. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Brett.